Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley and we are here in the community center. Oh my gosh. It has been a hot minute since we have been in the community center, but it is just so nice to come back and see all of the hard work that we did in order to restore this place and really try to bring a bit of a heart back to our community. I mean, look at the mayor's office with this giant vault that we filled absolutely full of money. We worked really, really hard to be able to create a fantastic place where everybody can come and relax. They can read over books and comics and make postcards and maybe get Get a little bit of tourism coming into the valley. They can come in. We have a fully stocked little pantry that we built that they'll be able to come over and make meals and maybe have some really fun community meals together. It'd be really cool if I could actually cook in this kitchen. That would make me super happy. There's even an arts and crafts room and kids toy areas and we worked so hard at getting this place built. And I wanted to remind all of us about that because we have a fancy new new mod on the farm. Let's go check it out, guys. I feel a lot better. Oh, good morning, little birdos. I feel a lot better after having looked over the community center again and remembering the amount of work we poured into it for sure. Uh, oh, dang it. Pam, you weren't supposed to catch me digging through your trash. Uh, okay, and almost ready. Pierre's is almost open. We're just going to go take a little peek inside of Pierre's and just, there we go, a second here. Good morning, Piers. Welcome to Piers Heated Shop. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious because it is actually quite cold outside. But we're actually popping over here so that I can look over Deluxe Speed Grow. What would it take to make a Deluxe Speed Grow? Because we're going to want some Deluxe Speed Grow for the fancy new upgrade I managed to get my hands on. But I think we'll be okay. I think I can make some Deluxe Speed Grow on our own with a little bit of oak resin and coral. So that should work out just fine. Uh, oak resin is kind of hard to get my hands on though. So you know what? How much is he selling that deluxe speed grow for? Yeah, oak resin is actually kind of hard to get my hands on. And I think I may need it for another crafting thing. So I don't know. Okay, I'm going to buy just a few of them. So enough to make a, a little section of nine. I guess I only needed eight. Uh, let's buy, we'll, we'll just buy some Deluxe Speed Grow from Pierre. Kind of put in the, fu the funds back into our town. Oh, Pierre! I hate it when I accidentally do that. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. And then he just takes it back. Oh my gosh, Pierre, you little jerk. I was trying to like count them and I accidentally clicked. Okay, fine. You took a lot of my money this morning, Pierre. That's what I get. That's what I get for, for all like, oh, I'm going to help Pierre. I'm going to give him a whole bunch of my money. And then he just takes me for a ride. Uh, you give that merchant an inch and he takes your entire wallet and puts you on a line of credit, I swear. All right, well, we're going to go home, guys and we are going to check out the place that we need the deluxe speed grow for because dun 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 check it out i am so excited we have an expanded greenhouse isn't this so cool our greenhouse has been dramatically expanded there were quite a few mods that made them even bigger and there were some mods that would add extra rooms and we would have been able to have like this gigantic labyrinth of uh greenhouses but i i felt like they added a little bit too much i felt like just a 15 by 15 greenhouse hit the perfect balance the perfect spot where i don't feel like we'll be super duper cheaty by having a, a few extra plots but i do feel like we'll be able to get some of the important work that we need to do in this greenhouse done, like adding in more spots for our coffee beans. That's actually one of the major reasons that we have this greenhouse is to have more coffee bean and more tea locations. And my little tea is still growing. Let me move my little uh, weapon out of the way. But we have one little tea plant so far and I actually need to get another tea plant. Uh, and I think I actually can because we need these rare seeds. I need to plant the rare seed so that it can get up and going. We have the star fruit growing already. Uh, here's one of the ancient fruits I need to take inside. A coffee bean. I can plant a whole bunch of these coffee beans. And then we can have coffee for Leia. But the reason that we actually uh, got the expanded greenhouse, other than as a reward to ourselves for the upgraded community center, is because to work on my new little museum, I'm gonna need speed boost to get through there. 
<laughs> it's actually really, really, really big. And just walking to show you guys the tour of it ended up like using up tons of our time. I was a little bit distressed at how much time it used up last time. Uh, and let's see, do I have my, yeah, I do have my watering can. I'm going to go ahead and get one of these rare seeds planted. And now that these little sprinklers have some extra room up here, it should be good. One rare seed planted because I'm going to need more of those rare seeds. And then we're actually going to take the other rare seed and we're going to mix it with spring and summer seeds and make ourselves another tea leaf collection. So we can get another tea leaf cutting and plant it so I can start having some tea pretty soon. As for the coffee beans, I really need to figure out the exact right like spot to put them, but I need to check and see how many sprinklers I have. So we'll work on that in a little bit too. But yeah, I felt like this was a good balance where we wouldn't, uh, and let me throw the duck speed grow in here, where we wouldn't have too much stuff so that we felt kind of awkwardly like we were uh, cheating but I can add in the tea leaves and add in more coffee beans so that we can actually move around our museum because it's too big to actually put stuff away before it's like the end of the day already and I want to get a little more bit more done with my day than just like running back and forth uh, to my museum so all right hello everybody how's everyone doing Pips Swissia, how you doing, my little, my little cows, my little deer, my little goats? There we go. We might get a like cuter goat in the future, because I could, I, I think the goats are definitely something Leia and I love, because having this like high quality goat's milk is one of the ways that our farm makes a good bit of money. Hey, come back here. Oh, forget me not has no milk right now. Hey. All right, gotta face the cow if we wanna milk the cow. Look at all of that iridium starred milk. We have some very happy cows. I'm quite proud about that. And we'll take the teensy milk inside so that we can use it for cooking. All right, we'll put this away. And I need to go feed my dinosaurs. I feel so badly. I didn't know that we had to feed them because uh, we haven't fully upgraded this coop yet. I probably could have thought about that if Pierre hadn't stolen all of my money. I can't believe him. Here I was trying to do something nice and be kind and he just steals my my money. All right, we have one little dragon uh, or one little um dinosaur I do need to move into here from our chicken coop. And then we need to start hatching chicken eggs actually because there is now a one in four chance that when we hatch our chicken eggs, we could end up getting a blue chicken. And that would be amazing. All right, let's see. And I'm gonna come over here. We'll make a bunch of cranberry. Oh, let's see. We'll use the starred cranberries, actually. But we'll make a bunch of starred cranberry jam so that we have some jam up and going. And then, hi, everybody. At least these guys managed to get like fed and taken care of because of our, our upgrade. There we go. And I'll get one of these large chicken eggs. Uh, oh, I wonder what would happen. Let's, let's just go ahead and we're going to put in an iridium chicken egg into oh wait i can't yet because i need room inside of this incubator uh or inside of this greenhouse or greenhouse what the heck inside of this chicken coop oh my gosh i've got the new greenhouse on my mind all right so we're gonna go ahead and move atimuya and atimuya a coop for our dinosaur <laughs> dinosaurs i can't believe we have dinosaurs and like giant mushroom trees and two meteorites not one but two meteorites there we go and i guess i have to run back over there and add in more <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I have to run back over there and add in more food so that I don't starve poor little AT Muya. Uh, and we'll go ahead and, you know what, we'll use this one. There we go. And so now that we have seen the blue chickens that Sean has, Shane has, uh, we should be able to have a one in four chance of hatching a blue chicken. So that's very exciting. And we might have to raise and sell some chickens in order to see if we can hatch the blue chicken. And getting the rabbit hutch built is definitely a good goal that I would like to save for, um, let's see, let's get these two eggs. There we go. But getting the rabbit hutch built is definitely a great goal that I would love to be able to save for spring as well. So we have a lot of spring goals going on. Let's see. And I have a void egg. If I have time, I could go visit Krobus. Why is today going by so fast? I never have enough time anymore. This is why we need the tea and this is why we need the coffee. All right, let's go say hello to Agent Noodle Doodles. How you doing, Noodle Doodles? And we'll go ahead, add this in. There we go. A little bit of water there for him to enjoy. And then let's see if I can make 
All right, we're gonna come in here. Hello, Leia. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some more coffee made for her. Whoops, turned off the <laughs> the fireplace. <laughs> that is not something we want off right now. Uh, we have the complete breakfast from yesterday that I can put into here and I can eat later. And should I make my family some fresh food? I kind of feel like making, let's make a little pizza. A pizza sounds like something delicious for the day. So there we go, I have fed my family for the day, which makes me happy. Oh, I'm not bored. I'm just enjoying what we have here. It's a simple life, but I like it. <laughs> you know, I try. I mean, we've got we've got dinosaurs, so I don't feel like it's that simple of a life, but that's okay. Bundle up, folks. It's going to snow tomorrow. And then fortune teller. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, thankfully, I'm not trying to mess with the spirits today. I'm just trying to get some work done. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put away the milk. And we'll go check on the ancient fruit stash downstairs. How's it? Oh, yes! We've got more of them done! All right, let's grab these, guys. There we go. And we're going to put them away because we actually want to improve the ancient fruit wine to higher level qualities and it will sell for quite a bit more. We need to get this truffle into the oil machine. There we go and put the truffle oil away. I know that there is some sort of recipe that we need that for. And then we wanna get, there we go, some more of the ancient fruit wine started. And that's a good reminder that if I wanna be making money, I either need to plant lots of cranberries and blueberries in my, my greenhouse, or I need to really start hoofing it and I need to get more kegs so that we can start churning this away. But it takes forever. It's like a really, really, really long range plan to make ancient fruit wine and then have all these little kegs, put them up to Iridium Star and then sell them. I don't know if it's worth it to wait that long on it, to be honest. So we'll have to think about that. All right, and where, oh, where have I put my seeds? Uh, let's see. I really should start working on my museum. So we'll see if we have some time to work on the museum tonight as well. But where on earth have I, I think they're in here. There we go. All right, so one summer seed, one spring seed, and one rare seed all mixed together over at our kitchen will create... A tea leaf cutting! Dun 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 dun! Plant in spring or summer to grow a tea leaf plant. Well, I want to plant it like in my greenhouse all year round. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I could make white tea, not happening. And as you can see right here, you get a plus two speed boost if you have green tea. So that's what I'm, I'm going after. That's why I'm making all of this like focus on tea, fancy sweet tea with honey and a sweet gem berry, which is actually hard to grow, it gives you plus three luck. I think that's pretty balanced. And then the tea bags and cartons um, and the collectible tea box, those are all just to be able to sell. Like they're special collectible items to sell. And then like we could make all of the different types of tea and we could put them down inside of the museum. That would be really fun. I need to make a lot of miners treats in the future for when we go mining, but we won't talk about mining right now. <gasps> My pickaxe! Oh, and Clint is probably closed now. Oh, I'm not gonna get to him in time, but he has my pickaxe, you guys. Oh my gosh, I feel so silly. I could have gotten my pickaxe. Oh, and it would be iridium. And then we would definitely take off with an iridium pickaxe. Are you kidding me? That would be so cool. All right, well, let's plant my tea leaf cutting. Uh, and actually, let's see if I have some more sprinklers that I, well, I've got tons of sprinklers out in the yard that I could use. Like a lot of sprinklers out in the yard that I could use right now, actually. <laughs> so you know what? I'm going to steal one of the flower sprinklers. Hey, 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 pop up. Come on, you. There we go. I'm going to steal one of the flower sprinklers because I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be using it uh, for the rest of this season. Let's see. And I want to plant tea just all along this side. I just want this entire side to be tea, 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 tea. I think that would be fantastic. One, two, wait, these only do one. Uh, okay, so I got to scooch it over a little bit. There we go. And now, let's see, we'll do this. And then let's come down and I'm going to want my deluxe. Do I want to plant anything else there? Just because it's tis the season, tis the season. Um, mm, just because we can, might as well plant these mixed seeds. I mean, we're, it's going to be watering that spot anyway. All right, so we'll plant the mixed seeds and a little collection. And then we're going to put down, there we go, the speed grow. 
And we should hopefully have some more tea leaves. I'm so excited so we can make some proper tea. That'll be quite exciting. All right, we'll go ahead and just put down these guys. Who knows what they're gonna grow into by planting them in winter. I have no idea. Uh, anything else in here? I'm glad I didn't lose my chest when I upgraded, by the way. I was a little worried we were going to lose our chest when I upgraded the uh, greenhouse, but thankfully it turned out to be a-okay. And here's a sweet gem berry right here. I'll keep him as an emergency in case something happens to the sweet gem berry up on the top. Uh, but we do want to grow those. I kind of wonder if I should get some more star fruit going, but these are our star fruit. And they're kind of working on it right now, but we need a lot of them in order to make that, um, we need a lot of star fruit actually in order to make the special Junimo hut. But I guess getting that ready for spring is okay too. All right, let's go ahead. Need a little bit more hay. I know, sorry asparagus, I didn't mean to wake you. There we go, now Etimuya has some food. I didn't forget. All right, so what else are we doing? Yeah, well, I can give Leia some driftwood as a gift. I think Krobus is probably going to go to sleep, so I'll just save that void egg for later. I can sell all of these things uh, over here so that we can make a little bit of money. Um, Let's see. And let's see, let's see, let's see. I could cut some trees down. I could, oh, you know what I'm going to work on really quickly? I'm going to work on making a path just really, really quickly because <laughs> we never have time for just throwing down a few cobblestone and stepping stone paths. And I like to mix the two. And we may actually find that fairly soon here, uh, these cobblestone and these stepping stone paths might look a little different. They might start taking on some darker gray coloring, which I think would suit them very well. You can see so many spots where I have actually lost my paths due to a whole bunch of the uh, weeds and things popping up. But I think I also want to have a little path come down over here. Uh, let's see. Okay, Rosestone, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have a conversation about you scooching over, please. There we go. But I do think I actually want to have a little stepping stone path sort of wiggle its way down this direction. And there we go. Hopefully we won't get quite as many. <laughs> we won't get quite, quite, quite as many of the weeds growing on top of those paths. But we will actually work on some crystal paths in the future. That might be a really fun thing for like upgrading our entire farm in a really super fancy, like, look at us, like, end gamey sort of way, is putting down crystal paths everywhere instead. That could be kind of fun. All right, we'll do this and this and that. And then let's make a few more of the stepping stone paths. I'm a little biased to them because they're really cool. But it's about time that we start doing this because we have over 900. <laughs> there we go. We have, like, way more. Um... Oh, my gosh. Look at all these spots where the paths have really suffered and really been smushed. Uh, I don't really need this one here. Can I get it? Nope, I'm gonna have to wait until we have uh, my pickaxe back. We'll go pick that up tomorrow. I think, huh, do you get it? We'll go pick our pickaxe up tomorrow. Hmm, hmm. Okay, maybe that was a bit of a stretch, but still. All right, let's see. And just those smooth paths to sort of round things off. Uh, we've got, mm, do I have my axe? There we go. And we've got some little trees coming up right here, which are normally adorable, but they're in the wrong spot. Thank you very much. And we'll put this here and this there. There we go. This is looking so much nicer. Not exactly how I thought I'd be spending my evening just building paths on my farm, but it is long overdue if you ask me. All right, there we go. A few more. And stepping stones there. Nice! Rosestone, what do you think? I'm actually really happy with that. And then we can plant some beautiful flowers in front of my little museum when the season is upon us. Then it rounds about over here. And then we'll use just the last of our stepping stones to work our way over to where my little barn is. There we go. Nice. All right. Well, it's already 10 p.m. So that was a, that was a good. We'll continue expanding our path system over the uh, the course of the winter since we can actually reach things. We'll go ahead and sell all of those things. Nice, nice, nice. Gather these up, and tomorrow I should be able to get my iridium pick back. 
<laughs> so I'm actually tempted to go on a big mining spree because we do need a lot more iron and that would be very nice. And look, Leia's fresh coffee is going to be ready for her in the morning. So that's going to be fantastic. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and climb into bed. And it's been a really fast day, but it's been a really great day because we have a new greenhouse. I'm so excited. We should finally start getting some stuff planted so we can start moving things into our museum. Not bad for our first week of winter. It has been a very busy one and I'm ready for some adventures to celebrate in the mines once we get that iridium pick. So let's see what kind of money we made for the day and if anything special happens. Not bad. What's sold for that much? Those cranberries. Hmm. Maybe they would be worth growing. But all right, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.